Welcome back folks to a brand new video. For those of you who love outdoor adventures, there's a lot to be excited about in Ireland. With acres of wild countryside, vibrant cities and hair-raising coastal cliffs, it's easy to see why it's one of the most beautiful countries on earth. And while I film this video in Westminster with all the fucking drilling, the theme for this video is about scenic drives. So here are 10 beautiful places to visit in Ireland. Now before you even watch this video, don't forget to hit that like button, obviously for the YouTube algorithm. Number one, Cliffs of Moher. The Atlantic Ocean churns relentlessly below the towering cliffs over 700 feet above the water for almost nine miles along the County Clare coast. The views over the Galway Bay towards the Aran Islands are staggering, as are the vistas from the five mile coastal Doolin Cliff Walk. Now this is one of the country's most visited natural wonders, so do expect some crowds. But stop by in the evening when numbers begin to dwindle and you'll be rewarded with a spectacular sunset. This is the Cliffs of Moher. Number two, the Berra Peninsula. The Ring of Berra is a glimpse into Ireland at its most wild. Berra is beyond. It's different. A tapering 30 mile long forefinger of land that pokes powerfully out into the ocean. It feels more rugged, ancient and untamed than its next door neighbour. It's the peninsula's remote aspects are the reasons why you would visit. Number 3. Cork City. The third most populous city in Ireland, Cork is located a little way inland from the southern western coast and given its rich history and stunning architecture, it's very little wonder why Cork is one of the most beautiful places to visit in Ireland. Of course, no visit to Cork is complete without a tour of the iconic Blarney Castle, which has been attracting visitors for well over 600 years. Also, you can explore Cork's closest port, with its colourful houses creeping up the hill. Number 4. Connemara National Park Situated in the west of Ireland in County Galway, Connemara National Park covers some 2,000 hectares of scenic mountains, expanses of bogs, heaths, grasslands and woodlands. 500 meters higher lies Diamond Hill, which rises above the small village of Letterfrack. This is one of the finest hikes in the country. This is a wonderful place to put on your comfortable shoes and go for hikes. Number 5 Ring of Kerry. Now as I mentioned at the start of the video, for those of you who love to hire a car and enjoy the freedom of the country, this video is for you. 
The scenic photo opportunities just keep coming on the 112 mile ring of Kerry, one of Ireland's most celebrated touring routes. Roughly skirting the edges of the Ivora Peninsula in the southwestern corner of the country, it starts and ends in Killarney. Along the way, it threads through a ravishing reveal of mountains and Atlantic Bash coastal views that include the UNESCO World Heritage listed monastic settlement on Skellig Michael. Number 6. Ingle Ingle Peninsula, unmatched in its dramatic beauty, is one of the essential places to visit in Ireland. Ringed by sandy beaches, rolling hills, lofty mountains and craggy cliffs, it never fails to attract visitors with its charm and unique Irish culture. The town of Dingle sits in the edge of the peninsula on the southwest coast. And just a short ferry ride away from Dingle boat tours, you step onto the Blasket or Blasket Islands, once inhabited until 1953 when it was abandoned. The two highlights here are Dingle Bay and the scenic drive of the Connor Pass. Number 7. Galway Galway lies in Western Ireland and one of two European capitals of culture for 2020. This is a place that celebrates creativity and craft. Galway is known for its ancient architecture and also for its vibrant art and cultural scene. You can visit the 16th century Spanish arch overlooking the Cladder, where the river Corrib mingles with Galway Bay. One of the best ways to explore the area is by boat. You can try the Corrib Princess, which departs from Woodkey or Woodkey for a relaxing 19-minute cruise, with added commentary. Number 8. Donegal Donegal is an exceptional county, filled with friendly communities, gorgeous Irish countryside and breathtaking views. Many visitors even mention Donegal as their favourite area in Ireland. Another one of the county's treasures is Glenvay National Park, which covers 170 square kilometres of beautiful woodland and mountains. But I'm choosing Doe Castle which is just 22 minutes by car. Number 9. Dublin Vibrant, vibrant and friendly, Dublin surely needs no introduction. A city of Guinness-fueled pubs, elegant Georgian architecture 
friendly people, a city that continues to draw travellers from far and wide with its cocktail of culture, heritage and class. There's not much to say about Dublin because you have to feel it to really know about it. So my advice is take a weekend and visit Dublin. Number 10, Hook Lighthouse. Now, if you've taken my advice and gone to Dublin and you're looking for a possible day trip, then taking a two and a half hour trip through scenic island will take you to Hook Lighthouse. Which is a building situated on Hook Head at the tip of the peninsula in County Wexford. It's one of the oldest lighthouses in the world and the second oldest operating lighthouse after the Tower of Hercules in Spain. There's a wonderful guided tour, a cafe that serves lunches and there are picnic tables outside for you to enjoy. It's roughly eight to nine pounds or euros and of course it has wonderful views. Well, there you have it, folks. That was Ireland. I geared this video towards the outdoors, those people who love nature walks, going out there and experiencing the country. And of course, if you hire a car, this is the perfect place to do so because you will find so many hidden gems dotted around the country next to the locations that I mentioned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for those of you who take the time to comment. I'm off to get a cappuccino and a slice of some mean blueberry cheesecake. As always, be good, be kind, and be careful. Peace.